Welcome back to the Wet's Cooking Show. Again, we have Peter and Gino from Rufino, Rufino's in Baton Rouge that have come in here to cook uh, several different dishes for us today. And the first one, if you missed it on the first segment, is our nice New Orleans style barbecue shrimp that he did a, like this fast. It was really, really fast. <laughs> you know, I mean, first thing is there and it's gone. It's, it's out we're in front we're of restaurant us. guys. We have to get that food out yeah, right away. We know what yeah. it's all about. <laughs> it's a mindset. And now we have a second segment they're going to get uh, to. And Peter, why don't you tell us what we could do in the second segment? Well, this is a one of our most popular salads. It's actually a dish that I won a gold medal with at the New Orleans Wine and Food Experience. And it's our heirloom tomato salad with burrata cheese. So I don't know if everybody's familiar with heirloom tomatoes, but growing up in New Orleans, I'm kind of a tomato freak. Some people even call me a tomato super freak. Um, <laughs> no, I, a love, freak. I, love yeah. <laughs> I love tomatoes. I especially love Creole tomatoes when they're in season in New Orleans. But when we can't get them, we'll get these wonderful heirloom tomatoes. So they're great. They come in all these different colors. Each one has its own distinct flavor. And it makes the salad really interesting and beautiful. Pretty. Um, Colorful. But a lot of times with heirloom tomatoes, people look at them and think that they're really ugly because maybe they're not perfectly round or they don't have the same color throughout. Mm -hmm. But the uglier, the better, in my opinion. So this dish is very much like the caprese salad you get in a lot of restaurants, which is the tomato and the mozzarella and the basil, except we took that and kind of broke it apart and then put it back together. Just so we're starting with the heirloom tomatoes. So Gino's going to slice a few of these uh, beautiful tomatoes for us. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna season them with a little salt and pepper. So you can see just the gorgeous color on these yeah, that's really tomatoes. Nice, yeah. So a lot of times they don't look that great from the outside, but when you cut yeah, them open, you can see, dish. you know. And now, I'm cutting a lot off the top, but I'm just doing that for, for TV. But a lot of times if you don't wanna lose that much, you can just core it out, yeah. okay, and then use it. But. And you know, in the restaurant, we have to come up with a lot of ways to utilize product. So we'll take those tops after we take the core and we'll mm -hmm. dice them up and then we can make a little tomato bruschetta with heirloom tomatoes nice. or do different things like that. The next part is really the most important part about tomatoes. Well, there's a couple of rules I have about tomatoes. First, I never refrigerate them because once you refrigerate a tomato, it begins to die because they're still alive, they're still ripening. Sure. So you don't, and it'll make them mealy. So we don't want to refrigerate them. And next, you want to use good salt. So this is where I use my really good finishing salt. So my favorite kind of salt is called Malden salt. It's actually from England, but um, I really like the crunch that it has. It has a great minerality, almost like a little bit of lavender in it as well. Um, really nice. And we're going to add just a little bit of pepper to these. So right now, everything's kind of the same. Now we're going to add this cheese, and it's a, it's a cheese I discovered that is become one of my favorite cheeses. It's called burrata cheese. It looks like so mozzarella. It's, it's very much like mozzarella. So to make mozzarella, we would take, in Italy, they use water buffalo milk. This is just a cow milk mozzarella. But they would, you'd make the curds in the whey, and then you would take those curds and you heat them up and they become stretchy. So you would pull it and fold it and stretch it and fold it and stretch it and fold it. So when you slice mozzarella, you can almost see a grain that runs through the mozzarella. What we do on burrata is it gets pulled into a sheet and then it gets stuffed with little pieces of mozzarella and heavy cream. And you fold that over and the cream infuses throughout all of the cheese. So it makes it taste very buttery. And that's what burrata means in Italian is buttered. So once we cut through the cheese, we can see it's got that mozzarella-like mm -hmm. texture on the outside, but almost like a ricotta cheese on the inside. On the inside. And that's where yeah, we get all neat. that little mozzarella and um, heavy cream. So wow. really just a delicious, delicious cheese. So next, a lot of people would put balsamic vinegar on their salad. But what we did was we made balsamic caviar. And I have to explain to people all the time that this is not real caviar. This is simply balsamic vinegar it looks like real that, caviar. that we spirified. So what, what I do to make this, and actually if you go to a, our website, and just recently we had our uh, Rufino's app approved by the uh, iTunes store, so you can get it on your iPad. Mm -hmm. And we have videos of this, we have our own YouTube channel where we show you how to make this caviar. But we take a type of gelatin that's called agar agar, and we blend the balsamic vinegar with agar, 
and then we drop it in some cold vegetable oil. And as the little balls of vinegar are dropping down the cold oil, that cold oil chills it and then it sets and we just drain the oil off and we're left with it. And you got like, uh, looks just, just hit, like, caviar. like caviar. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So then instead of regular basil, we're taking this micro basil, which is really like basil shoots, if you will. So we've got little bitty uh, basil, but it's got really great intense basil flavor. And I just think it makes a beautiful looking salad. It looks like that bush I gave you, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to take a little bit of our Rafino's olive oil and finish it with that. But you can see, just we think just a beautiful dish, a great tasting dish, and I think it's going to be the best tomato salad it's you've ever had. It's beautiful, yeah. <clears throat> um, I mean, if you and you know, so at, at Rafino's, we unique. we like those um, traditional tasting dishes, but we try to present them in a unique way. So, like one of one of our signature dishes is called crab meat cheesecake. And when people first hear that, they're like, oh, you take cheesecake and put crab meat on it? <laughs> yeah. But it's not like that at all. We take some of the ingredients that go in cheesecake, like cream cheese, but we don't add any of the things that are sweet. So we do a, um, a Italian breadcrumb crust instead of graham cracker crumbs. And then we mix that cream cheese with some Romano and Parmesan and Fontina. We add crab with onions and garlic and green onions and bake that and it is just out of this world. So Sounds good to me. <laughs> we, we give you that too. Yeah, we give you flavors <laughs> that you uh, that you're familiar with, but we present it in a different way. It's cut in a wedge and served just like you would a dessert cheesecake. Wow. So this that is just like good. a caprese salad. So when you eat this, you'll get the same effect of like, oh wow, that's that tomato and mozzarella, but I think it's just brought to a whole different level now with burrata cheese and 25-year-old balsamic caviar. Yeah, it looks like a, a whole nother level yeah. up there, too. <laughs> it's a beautiful piece of work there, definitely. Um, so, and real easy. So if, you know, if you're not going to make balsamic caviar at home, just use your best balsamic vinegar in this. If you don't, can't find burrata cheese, mozzarella cheese works just right, as well. Right, right, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to take another short break, and uh, we're going to come back with Gino and Peter again with Rufino's in Baton Rouge, and they're presenting a wonderful show to us today. So join us back, and don't miss the last, last part of What's Cooking. <laughs> 